is it that oh fuck fuck you <laughs> Hey guys, another vlog. Is fitness good for golf? And is golf good for fitness? Is the question of the day. I'm here with John. John's a pro golfer. He owns the spot just around from Empowered Gym. I'm here as the, um, the gym owner and the business person and the fitness professional type guy. And we're gonna see what happens in the, in the, in the situation here. So, if you wanna tell me a bit about the course, John, what is it actually here for? Actually, it's not a course, it's a, a golf range. It's a public golf facility uh, where you can whack a few balls without any kind of pressure of a golf club or golf course. You can just come and have some fun. Uh, we've got a golf range, a public golf range. You don't have to be a golfer, you can be a complete beginner. Um, ladies, gents, seniors, come and whack a few balls. Uh, we've got coaching, um, we've got a, a vending machine, we've got coffee, um, we've got refreshments. Uh, it's four quid to come and have a go. What you're gonna see here is me never have hitting a golf ball before. You're gonna see me working with John a little bit later on in the gym. And the idea is, can his gym training help him play golf and help you play golf? And the idea is, can me being in the gym and being a business person or being uh, into fitness, can I use golf to help <laughs> chill out? And that's the idea, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, using golf. Um, if you've been in the gym, or let's say you've been to the office all day, uh, the gym for me is fantastic to go, um, get on that rowing machine, um, get on them weights. By the time I've finished, I'm chilled out. Actually, golf's a great vehicle for that as well, and combining the two. Combining the two. Okay, let's go and wax some balls. Cool. Have a go, try and hit it really hard. Um, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Again. Go on, that's it. Yeah, that's that's good, yeah. Because that's what a lot of people do. That's what you started off doing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've snorted and everything. <laughs> That's actually okay, good. Can you show me how to do it? That's a good one, that, yeah. Do you want to talk me through what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. Okay, well, obviously, um, Chris has been a bodybuilder, and uh, what he's trying to do, he's trying to put all his strength and power into it. Uh, basically, he's trying to knock the ball out. So, with golf, what we've got to try and do is, yeah, we need the power, but control power. So, if I just give you a demonstration. So, here we're engaging the body glutes, the bum, the hamstrings, the arms, the delts and everything here. So yeah, we need the power. I've still got it. I've still got it. Did I go over the fence? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't see that one. <laughs> so we just need to control the power. That's what I'm going to teach Chris today. Hopefully he can teach me some good stuff in the gym as well. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Yeah. So left hand, always left hand first. That's excellent. Yeah. What I'd like to do is just get a little bit more physical to the ball, so it's very flat and not going to engage any muscle. So what you want to do, you want to really get quite physical to the ball so the bug sticks out. Okay. What can I do? You're going to feel a little bit strange, but if I show you here, I look like a golfer now. What do I look like now? Oh, okay, right. Yeah. So now I'm actually engaging my muscles and get ready to make quite a powerful movement. Where if you stand very stationary, very passive in the ball, then it's really your movement's going to be very stationary and passive. It's a little bit like a goalkeeper. If a goalkeeper was stood waiting to say, say a penalty, he wouldn't stand like this, passive. He'd be ready, wouldn't he? His arms would be out, and he'd be looking to save the ball. Goal, very similar to engaging the muscle properly. Looking to get a really that's good, yeah, well done, yeah, and then. What we're looking to try and do is just push the weight a little bit more. That's it. You probably feel you start engaging your lower back. Your glutes now. Yeah, your glutes. 
and that's why it's really important to get some fitness. So do you know any decent gyms? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> there's a good one around the corner. You know, it, yeah. <laughs> um, so it probably feels up, up golf's now a bit more physical than you thought. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what you're doing, a bit like say you're squatting in the gym, you're going to squat down, you're trying to keep that shape. We're here in golf, we're doing the same. So we're getting here this arch into the hips. So I can see you, you very, very strong base in the legs to hit the ball. So that's a much better what we call in golf posture. So it's chest up. Yeah, well, it's more bum out than chest up. Chest up, no. So your chest is coming forwards and just really your bum out here. You're getting into a much more physical position. So when we go to the gym later on, we talk about a squat as well. Yeah, we talk about a squat like sitting on a toilet. So you start with your bum and then your, your heels almost lift into a squat position. Ah, right. So we talk about activating from the glutes. Yes. What you're trying to make me do here. Exactly. It's like a squat. Yes. And then sit into it. Yeah. Okay. So from there, you can see how when I hit the so ball, I'm rotating the hips and a lot of twisting and turning. Is this coming up or just coming up? You just did it perfectly. Do it. That was it. Okay. You watch me and you like just dancing. copied it. Yeah, like dancing, yeah. Okay. okay, so that's it. Have a little bit of that from me just telling you those few tips. So I'm sticking out. I'm sticking out enough. Lovely. Don't, that's it. Don't be too self-critical. Just go for it from there. Okay. Good swing. Yeah, it was a better swing. One probably better good a result because obviously you're moving more of your body and you need to practice. But that's a much better position. You see it on camera. Yeah, good. Well done. Just that, up a bit. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was really good. Nearly at the lighthouse. <laughs> and then just swing it. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. That's just gone out the end of the range. I think I think that would be not far enough. Because that was a literally night and day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good, really good. Cool. So is golf a physical movement? If I was to stand to the ball very passively and just swing my arms, which a lot of people do when they first start, that really isn't a physical movement apart from just the arms. Now, the work I've done in Empowered Fit into getting my glutes strong, my hamstring strong, and getting to a really good physical position. And you probably can see straight away on camera, I'm now golf ready. I'm now ready to hit this golf ball. And I mean business. My legs are engaged, my arms. I'm ready there to really think to make a much more physical movement and hitting that ball probably 300 yards over the back of the range towards the lighthouse. Cool. Good shot. Loads better posture. So, from golf to gym and how can it help? So, as we've just seen on the golf range, a lot of it was back and a lot of it was glutes. So, we want to be activate, activating the glutes before we go. Some great exercise for that. Get yourself a band. We've got loads in here, in here in the gym. Step into it. Tie a little knot like this. A little knot tied in it. And the idea is, we're playing golf, right? So the idea is the glutes. You talked to me before about the glutes activating. So put the band on. Turn the knees out. This is to start off the movement. And think about knees out and as you squat, okay? But before we do that, we want to make sure we're activating these glutes because they're going to do most of the movements. So we're going to step to the side and we're going to squat. Step to the side and we're going to squat. Put your hands out to balance you. And just squat like this, okay? And you're going to go the other way. Step to the side and squat. Okay? So that's going to activate your glutes and get you going before we do any movements. So that's exercise one. That's going to help you golf, okay? Um, so exercise two, we're going to go into the actual squat so as you can see here we've got six squat racks there's always going to be somewhere where you can do squats so you grab yourself a bar we've got 20 of these so don't worry keep this band on okay keep it on your legs what, what this is going to do is make sure you get into that, that golf position that we talked about before and it's going to make sure that the glutes are activated in the right posture open the bar 
step back. If you're not too sure about this movement or you've never done it, don't worry, there's always a coach on the floor to help you, okay? So, feet hip width apart. You're gonna use the band to make sure your glutes are activated. And you're gonna stick your bum out first as you begin to squat, okay? Down. Very controlled when you do it. Very slow, very purposeful. So what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be tensing your abs, you're going to be tensing your glutes, everyone's going to be flexed, everyone's going to be in control, you're grabbing the bar, similar to being in a goal position, right? Up and down. Only go as far as it feels comfortable, and gradually get better. Up and down. Okay, so that's movement two. Okay. Yeah. So if you got shorts on, it might hurt a bit. So go back out first of all and do the uh, the stepping one first. So one leg in, one leg out. So as you do, go step, squat. Got it. Step, squat. That's it. So what's happening now is. Your glutes are activating the whole entire time. And go back the other way, that'll do. Great. Straight underneath the bar. Step back, think knees out. First before the movement, you'll feel your glutes activate, knees out. Squat down, nice and slow up, that's good. Can you feel your glutes activating more because you're using a band? Out, especially. Externally. Out. Bum out. Great. So think a little bit more. Bum out even further. Almost lift up your toes. So your toes, you're almost going onto your heels. Quite the opposite to golf. But. That's good. So the next movement is called a deadlift. There's two, well, there's several ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to teach you one, which is the easiest way to learn. Um, we've got 20 of these collars, which help the bar stay in place. Actually, we've got 40 of these. Anyway, they hold it in place. The idea of the deadlift, we spoke about before, we spoke about this golf position. Right? This is almost similar, and it's going to strengthen all the muscles to help you not be so tired when you golf. So, get into the bar. This is, this is the first way, this is called a sumo deadlift. You're going to come into the middle of the bar like this. The same as before with the squat, we're thinking glutes. Okay, so the movement comes almost from the bum. So, we're not doing this. We're getting tucked in like this, okay? So as we're lifting, we're thinking back straight, head up, but straight. So not like this, not like this. Keeping it straight, and we're going to lift straight up. And we're going to follow all the way through and pull our shoulders back. This is going to help great with the golf posture. It's not also going to be like this, it's not a jolt, it's going to be slow pressure lifting and going through, okay? It wants to look like this. So if you take, your, take this as a sumo one we're doing now, so if you go a little bit wider with your legs and your hands want to go on the inside, great. I stretch that quickly. Great. <laughs> yep. So while you're doing this, you want to be tensing all your internal muscles. You want to be tensing your uh, tension your glutes. Almost a feeling of stopping yourself weighing while you're doing it. <laughs> Squeezing them muscles, lifting up, and it wants to look a bit like that. See, John's got it perfect. So now you can see how that's very similar to golfing. How's that feel? If I do one like that, put the bar down and then do that. Similar, isn't it? Very similar to golf. So that is exercise number three. I'm gonna give you a bonus exercise now. Of course, there's lots of equipment here for you to do stuff and we're always here to help. And I'm gonna give you a bonus exercise which is also gonna strengthen your, strengthen your swing. So this exercise is gonna be great for the obliques on the side and that's great for golf as well. And you can see the uh, the posture I'm already doing is like golfing. 
So if you were to get yourself into position by golfing, like you finish your swing, so what we're going to do now is the same posture, bum out, like a golf, like golfing. You're going to not allow your back to curve over, you're going to be straight up, you're going to tense the abs, tense the shoulders in place, and you're going to come down and swing, just like you're playing golf. Okay? Looks a bit like this. So what we don't want to be doing is we don't want to be using the arms to swing it. We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be keeping, you don't want to be keeping your head turning. You want to be looking at your hands while you're doing it and using your abs to move the, move the block. Okay? So to advance upon that, we just move the angle, come in, across the body. Yes. Looks like a golf swing, that. <laughs> the golf club's going to feel really light as well once you've done this. It may be a good idea to have a golf club at the side here as you do this exercise. And then when you've got the golf club in your hand, you'll feel much more in control of it. Because obviously this is a lot heavier. So you're training to do this movement with a lot harder weight. And then when you get that golf club in there, it's going to be so much more easy to control. And that's the key with golf, is controlling that club head to hit the ball. That's when you see golfers on TV, and actually golfers on TV make it look easy. Because they're doing a lot of this move, a lot of this work in the gym out of season they're doing a lot of gym exercise and then when you see them on tour just hitting the ball it looks dead easy but there's a lot of effort and work gone in the gym to make it look that way rory mcelroy you look at his body now i mean he could really he could be a gymnast mm. guy's so athletically fit tiger woods a yeah. lot of the guys now really understanding that fitness, strength, is a very, very important factor in golf. I can really feel this one in here. Mm. It's core muscles. So guys, we're done now. That's the few exercises you can use to help golf. And obviously golf can help the gym because well golf and fitness uh, obviously go together very very well um, lifestyle health you're getting healthy in the gym uh, cardiovascular wise strength wise that's going to help you golf you're playing on the golf course for three or four hours or at the driving range come and whack some balls for 20 minutes you're gonna relax. Um, but actually being strong healthy and fit uh, generally for life and really using the gym and uh, the golf range is a vehicle to get there. Yeah, exactly. Have fun. And one thing I always say about uh, lifting and exercise is this modern life we work in, we uh, we have the mobile phone and we crunch over and we have bad posture. We sit in a sofa, we have bad posture. We sit in a car and we have bad posture. And what I say about gym and lifting is that when we're doing the movements which, which we showed you here, it gives you that upright and proper posture and helps you have a more stable body, which is going to help golf and help general life. Is it that? Oh fuck, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for me and John. Uh, thanks for listening and I'd appreciate you sharing this video to any of your golfing friends. Cheers guys. Cheers.